This is SSP TV News, brought to you by Samsung Productions and the Hazelton Standard Speaker. What the wet summer is costing local farmers, that story and more next. Good evening and thank you for joining us at SSP TV News. I'm Ken Cara. Let's get going with headlines from SSP TV and the Hazelton Standard Speaker. The rainy summer has taken a toll on area farms. Cernak Farms in Weatherly suffered heavy damage to cabbage and vine crops as a result of almost five weeks of wet weather. Yesterday, Jeffrey Cernak toured the damaged areas along with Boots Hetherington, a member of the USDA State Farm Services Agency Committee, and United States Congressional Candidate Dan Muser, who's running for the 9th Congressional seat. While there is insurance, Cernak says that the non-insured crop disaster insurance program, also known as NAP, has a cap on the amount paid, something he would like to see revised. A bunch of my grower friends are having a very difficult year this year. I mean, we aren't hearing much about it on the national news. We aren't seeing much about it in, in the local papers, but the, these guys have had hit pretty hard with, with rain. Uh, I mean, we just inches upon inches of rain, uh, humid, high humidity, disease, uh, uh, you know, just just one of the, probably one of the worst years I've seen in my, my, my whole lifetime. You know, as far as the cap goes on the nap that we have, you know, barely, barely pays for the seed, let alone the fertilizer, the fuel, the help, labor, boxes. We have, we're going to have probably close to 90% loss this year. Agriculture is the number one industry uh, in the 9th Congressional District. Uh, and if we're not here for farmers, they're not going to be here for us in the future. You know, 1% of the population are farmers. They feed 100% of our, our food needs. Uh, farmers face all kinds of issues uh, every year. Regulation issues, workforce issues, pricing, uh, trade. Uh, but during these uh, times of disaster, if we're not there for them during disasters, they're not going to be here for us next year. Cernak hopes that legislation can be passed to help farmers recuperate from such losses. The local farm also suffered hail damage in two prior years, but they say this year's damage is far worse. This Sunday is Fun Fest Sunday in downtown Hazleton, and SSP TV is teaming up with radio station 105 The River for fun and surprises. Come check out our prize wheel in front of our SSP TV studios at 109 West Broad Street. Simply download our free app for a chance to win great prizes. So stop by and say hi this Sunday from noon until 2 p.m. right before the big parade. Special thanks to our prize wheel sponsors, the Laurel Mall, Boyer's Food Market, Gary McNeilis Allstate Insurance, the Fal Alvella Law Firm, Harry's You Pull It, Gould Supermarket, and the Skokoski and DeCosmo Law Offices. For more information on the big weekend, go to hazeltonchamber.org slash funfest. We hope to see you this Sunday in downtown Hazelton. Time now for weather on SSP TV News. Check out the sun hiding behind these clouds, even hidden, it's very powerful. The heat index is going to stay high on Thursday, but a cold front is going to bring some possible thunderstorms. Here's our forecast from the National Weather Service. Tonight is partly cloudy and warm with a low of 69 degrees. Then on Thursday, a 60% chance of showers and thunderstorms. We'll have a partly sunny day with a high of 83. Thursday night showers likely 60% chance, possibly a thunderstorm will have a low of 62 degrees. Friday only a 20% chance of showers, mostly cloudy, high of 74. At night a 20% chance of showers, mostly cloudy, low of 55. Saturday looks mostly cloudy with a high of 69, we'll get down to 52 at night with mostly cloudy skies. Sunday a 40% chance of showers, cloudy, high of 63. And Sunday night 50% chance of showers, cloudy, with a low of 55 degrees. It was a hot one for the third official game on Penn State Hazleton's renovated soccer field. You know, I still have four years of eligibility left. I may go back because this is beautiful. The renovated field features a new scoreboard, beautiful turf, and a great sound system, along with some other upgrades. The school plans to dedicate the field later this season. Here's the school's new athletic director, Patrice Lombard. It's definitely a good time to be here. Um, you know, we, we just, we want to keep growing. I mean, our, our team's... We're pretty solid for the fall and, you know, the winter and the spring sports um, as far as numbers go. And we just want to keep those numbers strong and just give the students as much opportunity to play as we can. 
We'll hear the cool story of how Lombard ended up the AD at Penn State Hazleton next week on SSP TV News. The PSU Hazleton women lost to Union County College in this game, by the way, and they will be back at home next Friday. The men are hosting the University of Valley Forge and Pratt this weekend in the PSU Hazleton Invitational at the field. The Hazleton Area Boys soccer team moved to 2-0 on the young season in the Wyoming Valley Conference. That and other scores on the SSP TV standard speaker scoreboard. Joseph Rosario scored in extra time to give Hazleton the 2-2-1 win over Berwick. Berwick beat the Hazleton girls 5-0. Hazleton won in boys golf with Jordan Pick and Joe Rabarczyk hitting 40s. The Big HA is now 4-1 in the league. Tamaqua lost to Northampton in a non-league match. MMI, GAR and Hanover area played some golf. MMI won both matches. Jessica McClellan and Zach Young had the lowest scores with 40s. MMI is 5-1 in the Wyoming Valley Conference. Hazleton area beat Crestwood in girls tennis while Wyoming Valley West topped MMI. Summer Ivanko put down 16 kills in MMI's win over Berwick in girls volleyball. Weatherly swept by Shenandoah Valley. Marion lost to Blue Mountain in Schuylkill League Division I girls volleyball. The Cubs lost their second straight to the Brewers as Milwaukee pulls within three games of Chicago in the NL Central standings. The teams still have four more games against each other with one coming tonight at 8.10 p.m. Remember, we're your trifecta of local information on the air Monday through Friday with updated headlines, social news and more online with breaking news and on the Samsung Productions app. Later, we'll get a little taste of what training for an Ironman race is like with a local triathlete. Watch SSP TV in Wilkes-Barre on Service Electric Cable Communications Channel 92 on Saturday and Sunday from 7 p.m. to 11 p.m. Good evening everyone, here's today's Talk of the Town. Good Shepherd Church and Drums is holding a rummage sale this Saturday, September 8th from 8 a.m. until 2 p.m. in the parking lot of the church. For more information, you can call one of the two numbers on your screen. Members of Governor Tom Wolf's Cabinet will be hosting Cabinet in Your Community on Wednesday, September 12th at 11 a.m. at the Monk Chunk Opera House in Jim Thorpe. For more information or to reserve a spot, you can call the number on your screen or you can send an email to the email that is on your screen. The first annual LCCAC Superhero 5K Run Walk will be held rain or shine on Saturday, September 15th at Kirby Park in Wilkes-Barre. Registration will begin at 8 a.m., the Kids Fun Run will start at 8.30 a.m., and the 5K Run Walk will begin at 9 a.m. And that's today's Talk of the Town. SSP TV News would like to send sincere condolences to the family and friends of Karen L. Savage of Hazleton. A funeral will be held on Friday at 8 p.m. at the Willard Rother Mill Funeral Home in Mount Carmel. Friends and family may call Friday from 6 to 8 p.m. at the funeral home.